fluid power formulas, how to calculate force in a hydraulic cylinder. So earlier we calculated the, the area on the cylinder, uh, we calculated area on the bore side of the cylinder and the, and the area on the right hand side of the cylinder. For the right hand side basically what we did, uh, we calculated the bore, we subtracted uh, the right area and with that we came out with the effective right in area uh, which is this part over here this area over here uh, from which you apply pressure and you are able to generate force uh, from that area uh, so force equals uh, pressure psi uh, pounds per square inch time area in square inches so let's say you have 1000 psi and you multiply for uh, for the area on the bore side uh, that will give you a number of uh, twelve thousand five six six point four pounds. So force uh, the units to uh, measure uh, force is pounds. Uh, let's say we move forward uh, on the smaller area. You have a, a smaller area on the retract part. Uh, we multiply 1000 times 9.4248 uh, that will give you a number of 9,424.8 pounds so if you see we have the same pressure on both sides uh, one area is smaller than the other one a smaller area with the same pressure will give you uh, a lower force in relation to the bigger area so if you are, it all depends on the applications, you know, uh, if you need to pull or push a certain amount of weight on a cylinder, with a cylinder, uh, basically what you're going to be looking at is uh, how much weight do I need to lift, how much weight do I need to pull, and uh, how much pressure is the cylinder able to take so that I can generate the force that I need to generate for the application. So what happened over here, if we increase the pressure on the cylinder, we multiply it for, uh, with the same area, well, that will give you a bigger number. That will come out to be a 25,122.8 pounds. Uh, so we have higher pressure on the same area, it will give you a bigger, a bigger force, a higher force. And uh, that's basically how you calculate force. Um, and again, it's just a matter of uh, uh, taking a look at the application, how much work you need to generate, how much weight, how much uh, pounds you need to lift or pull, and uh, pick a cylinder uh, that will give you a certain amount of force with the amount of pressure that the cylinder is able to work with. And you take it from there and um, uh, you just... Uh, uh, pick different components that will fit your application. So, and, and that's how you calculate the, the force in a cylinder.